Welcome back. Uh, using the steps and procedure that we discussed in the previous segment, we will uh, solve few examples to find the standard time using star y time study. So in first example, we are given that a time study of an assembly operation yielded the following observed times for the job. For which the analyst gave a performance rating 1.10 using an allowance of 20% of job time, determine the appropriate standard time for this operation. So in this case, we are having just one element uh, of the job we have not divided into uh, elements and we have taken nine readings. So <clears throat> the stopwatch time for each of the nine observations is given. And the total of these nine values is 10.35. So that is what we call average observed time. Uh, if we divide it by nine, we will get average observed time. So 10.35 divided by nine. Then we will multiply that answer with 1.10, that is performance rating to find the normal time. And then we will add an allowance of 20% to find the standard time. It is quite possible that we had given a separate rating to each of the observations. Say, for example, 90% rating, 85% and so on. Then we would have taken an average of these ratings and multiplied that with the average observed time to find the normal time. So that is something we will see in the next example. So 10.35 divided by nine is average observed time, that is 1.15 minutes. So I call it average observed time. So normal time is average observed time multiplied by performance rating. So 1.15 multiplied by 1.10, a rating of 110%. So that gives us a normal time of 1.265 and as, and standard time is equal to normal time into one plus A. So A is 20%. So one plus A will be 1.20. So standard time turns out to be 1.52 minutes. So average qualified worker should on average take 1.52 minutes to perform this task once. So that is uh, what is meant by start, uh, standard time. Here is another example. The time study analyst at Dorban company developed the following snapback star watch readings. The allowance for this element was assigned a value of 16%. What would be the standard time for this job? So these uh, snapback readings are basically observed times. And here we are having uh, the score of performance rating. And you could see that here each observation has been uh, rated uh, separately. So n was 10 in this case. Uh, we took 10 readings and we rated each of the 10 readings. So we take average of these snapback readings or average of observed times. So that is average observed time of 28.9 seconds. And average performance rating is 98.5%. So normal time is the product of these two, average observed time and average rating. So that turns out to be 28.47 seconds. We are having allowance of 16%. So standard time will be equal to normal time into one plus A. So the standard time turns out to be 33 seconds. So this is the time the worker should take on average to perform the task once. So that is standard time in this case. So we will solve a few more examples. Let's solve another example. Given these observed times in minutes for five elements of a job, determine the average observed time and normal time for each element and standard time for the task. Allowance is 17% of job time. And note that some of the elements occur only periodically. So element two 
and element four occur periodically. So element two occurs every other cycle and element four occurs So we are given the observed time for six cycles uh, for each of the five elements of the, of the task. And we are given an overall performance rating for each of the elements. So a rating of 100% for element one, 95% for element two and so on. So the average observed time for element one is 2.11, simply the sum of these six times divided by six multiplied by one is 2.11. Now the every time for element two is sum of these three times divided by six. So that will give us time of 0.55 multiplied by 0.95 will give us a normal time of 0.52. Element three occurs every cycle. So sum of these six times divided by six an average observed time of 3.4 multiplied by 1.05 will give us 3.57. Now element four occurs after three cycles. So 4.0 plus 4.2 divided by six will give us uh, average observed time of 1.37 multiplied by 0 0.90 will give us a normal time for this element equal to 1.23. And similarly, the average observed time for element five is 1.45, rating is 100%. So the observed time and normal time will be equal. So please observe that we have divided the sum of these three times for element two by six uh, to spread the time uh, for six cycles. Similarly, the sum of these two times has been divided by six in order to spread this time uh, for six cycles because this element occurs after three cycles. So we have found the normal time for all the five elements. So we will add these normal times to find the normal time for the task and then add the allowance to find the standard time. So sum of these is equal to 8.88 8 minutes. So that is the normal time. So this is normal time. So that is the normal time for the task. So these are elemental normal times. And 8.88 8 is the total normal time or the normal time for the task. So that normal time into 1 plus A, A is 17% will give us a standard time of 10.40 minutes. So let's solve another example. And this example is different than the previous examples because it involves both manual uh, cycle time as well as machining cycle time. The following are the data uh, that resulted from a time study made on a horizontal milling machine. A mean manual effort time per cycle is 4.62 minutes and mean cutting time uh, during power feed is 3.74 minutes. So some uh, tasks, uh, some elements in this task are being performed manually and some are being performed using auto feed or power feed. So during power feed, there is no involvement of the worker. So mean performance rating is 115%. The machine allowance is 10% and the allowance for the worker is 15%. So what is the standard time for the operation? So we are having two independent uh, cycles uh, in this overall task. So we will find standard time for both and add them up to find the total standard time. So manual element normal time will be equal to every time this 4.62 multiplied by uh, the performance rating. So that will be 5.31, a normal time of 5.31 minutes. Now, of course, we have not to perform the rating for the machine uh, uh, element. 
So the observed time and normal time will be equal and that will be 3.74 minutes. We are having 15% allowance for the manual cycle. So standard time will be this normal time into one plus allowance. Normal time was 5.31 into one plus 0.15. So that is 6.11 minutes. So a standard time of 6.11 minutes for the manual element. And there is a 10% 10, uh, 10 allowance for the machine element. So machine element standard time will be equal to the normal time for the machine element, 3.73 into a 1 plus 0 0.10. So that is a standard time of 4.10. So the sum of two, the standard time for the manual element plus standard time for the machine element turns out to be 10.21. So to machine one part, uh, we require 10.21 minutes. So from here, we can calculate how many parts can we machine in a day and how much time will it require to machine X number of parts and so on.